so I can reach this evaporator coil and clean it out. So I cut out a hole and added it. Added that right there. So close up like that, but at least I can get in it. But this is something I've been adding to all my installs and or coil cleanings or access door. I mean, if you're going to be the one to maintain it, you might as well make everything as accessible as possible. So this access door here, I got a video previously called Troubleshooting No Cool Call. And if you look at this access door, you'll see what I was doing. So it doesn't look like I was just busting a hole in the plenum. I was actually creating the access. And it's actually the best, easiest, and most convenient way to see if the coil is dirty prior to taking it out. And the easiest way to clean the coil in place too. They're saying that you've been servicing it regularly. If you service it regularly, it shouldn't really get clogged to the point where you have to pull and clean it. And like I always say, I did most of these videos a while back. I couldn't see the coil, so I actually made this excess just so I could. I eventually pulled and cleaned it anyway. I mean, after I opened up the excess and tried my best to clean it in place, I saw that I wasn't getting the desired results I wanted. I just said, you know, whatever, pull it and clean it. The excess door is always there, just in case I go back. Well, when I go back, so I, it won't be caked up, and I'll be able to just clean it just like this. Yep, and that's a wrap.